India's challenges are not new. Borders become volatile every summer, skirmishes happen all the time, bullets are exchanged every now and then. But what happens when three neighbors launch a coordinated provocation in the middle of a pandemic? India has become the fourth worst hit country due to the Wuhan virus and at a time like this it is being distracted by its neighbors, being sucked into border flare-ups. Three nations have become active at the border simultaneously. Three neighbors seem to be posing a combined threat to India. Pakistan, Nepal, and their guide and creditor, China. And I'm not saying this for effect or to instigate sentiments. I'm saying this because it's a matter of fact. From the west to the north to the east, India is feeling the heat on all, all three sides. In the west, it's Pakistan. It has always remained a challenge. For decades, it has provoked India in collusion with China. And now Pakistan is at it again. Since Sunday, the Pakistan army has been violating ceasefire on a daily basis. Yesterday, Pakistani troops shelled villages in Rajauri and Punch. An Indian army personnel was martyred. In the north, China has been reinforcing its border defences for more than a month. It may have retreated from the front line in some parts, but the military build-up has not stopped. Just yesterday, the PLA is said to have received a delivery of new weapons, including China's most advanced vehicle-mounted howitzer, the PCL-181. If you follow the Chinese state media, you'd think the PLA is preparing for war. There are reports of a build-up in Arunachal Pradesh as well. We've also spoken to our sources, and we'll tell you what's happening there in just a bit. In the East, meanwhile, a subplot has emerged. A country which has always enjoyed excellent bilateral ties with India is spoiling for a fight. Nepal is throwing a fit. First, it approved a new political map showing disputed lands as Nepalese territory, Limpiadura, Lipu Lake and Kalapani. Kathmandu did not even bother with exploring a diplomatic solution. And today, something unusual has happened. There was indiscriminate firing by the Nepal police near the border with the Indian state of Bihar. One Indian has been killed, four others injured. It's being called an unrelated issue. And the timing couldn't have been worse if it's unrelated. It comes at a time of increased border tensions. Can it be labelled a mere coincidence?